My video for May the 20th, 2019 is video number 3091. The title is a question. Is the United States, or the USA, a republic or a democracy? A commenter on my previous video said that I fell for what he or she called sovereign citizen crap. Of course, this is simply not true. Humans are sovereigns. Citizens are slaves. They are not the same thing, and joining them together is a contradiction of terms. I also listened to a Mike Adams, the Health Ranger video, in which he calls for Donald Trump to invoke the Insurrection Act. He says that California, at least in the major cities, is run by communist Chinese. While I agree that most of the major cities in the United States are very left-leaning politically, it's hard to get my mind around the idea that California is controlled by Chinese communists and not capitalists. Again, those terms, though they seem opposite, are the agenda of the new world order pushed by both Democrats and Republicans. The labels are often used not to create peace and a better understanding, but to incite division and a war for control of humanity. If humanity does not get the divine support so badly needed, we are all doomed. Just so you know, this nation was founded as a democratic republic, but it is not a democracy, which is mob rule. Mobs have no law or order, just chaos. <laughs> oh, I was not planning on recording a video today till I watched the Mike Adams video, I, although I was thinking about the comment that was made on the previous video that I opened this blurb with. Uh, but I was going to go for my walk in the park, and instead I'm going to do that after I go to the meeting that I go to every Sunday morning. Anyway, folks, this, this question of mixing, putting words together, and uh, trying to say that I'm a sovereign citizen, for example, that they, this writer, does not understand or comprehend where I am coming from and where I'm going. I was part of the attempt to restore the Republic. And Mike Adams keeps talking about our Republic, our Republic. Our Republic hasn't existed at least since Abraham Lincoln was president. <laughs> That's the 16th president in the 1860. Was not that the year that he was elected? Uh, in any case, this is not a democracy, neither is it a republic. It's an oligarchy controlled by a handful of very wealthy people who want to be able to overrun the rights of others. They break all rules themselves. They don't keep law themselves, as I've said in other videos. Many of them, not all of them, but many of them are pedophiles, uh, and they abuse even the most innocent of humanity, our infants and our children. And there's rules in California and some other states where they want to even be able to kill ch ch babies that are born uh, not just in the third trimester of a pregnancy, but even after an actual delivery. Uh, and of course, I'm sure this happens in places. It's sad, but it's probably a reality on the planet that we live on, which, if you haven't noticed, seems to be insane at best. The, and the most criminally insane seem to rise to positions of power and authority because somewhere our creator abdicated responsibility for creation and let it go anywhere anyone wanted to take it. And of course, the most malevolent beings are the ones that wanted to control and subdue and if necessary, kill everyone else. 
this is the reality of earth. And for me, it is extremely, an extremely dangerous place to live. And if they could undermine the foundation of a republic, which I believe the United States had certain people involved in its origins, like uh, Thomas Jefferson especially, but others as well, who wanted to uh, ensure freedom for everyone. Of course, they didn't consider slaves to be on the same level as themselves. So they were not perfect people is what I'm saying. But they did have some principles and employ some principles and that they put into the, especially the Bill of Rights, and of course the Declaration of Independence before the even the United States came together as a nation uh, or a conglomeration of states is is more correct. But before that, these people had a vision for humanity to be uh, liberated from the slavery of monarchies and the domination of those that felt that they had some divine right of kings or kings and queens of royalty. And this game of confusion has been ongoing on this planet for eons, not just decades or centuries even, but for eons there has been this state of confusion that has dominated human uh, understanding and human awareness. And we have had a really hard time getting it together. Everything has been used to divide us. And I've been trying to raise my voice for a long time and saying, we have to come together. We have to learn to listen to each other. We have to try our best to build bridges, exposing the walls and taking them down, removing the, the separation and allowing us to become truly a free people because we know the truth. And what is the truth? The truth is that there's only really one answer and that is to love one another. That's the basis in all religions but it's overshadowed by all of the confusion that argues over the minor points. And we never get to the point of loving each other. We never get to the point of listening to one another and trying to build bridges and find the common ground that will allow us to exist peacefully, or I should say coexist. because. This is a co-creation. But somehow the creator seems to me to have relinquished responsibility. And that's the problem. And people say, but Ron, we are the creator. You create your own reality. I've heard that said so many times. Well, I do have freedom to choose my own response to things and I'm responding in this video to things that I think are confusing and trying to clarify things. Am I accomplishing that? I hope so, but I don't know because so many people hear what they want to hear and I'm probably guilty of that myself. We filter things through our present point of view and through our understanding of how things are and how we define terms. So it's not an easy task to create peace on earth. Yet is that not and should that not be the goal of all honest and peace-loving individuals? I would think so. And it has nothing to do with race or religion or nationality or gender or sexual orientation. It has to, to go beyond all of those things that divide us. And we need to learn to listen and to love. Thank you for listening. Namaste.